Hello everyone, this is Megan Wise, the Blended Learning Coordinator for the Archdiocese of New York, here for another installment of Starting With Why, Using EdTech for a Purpose. Um, if you've been watching previous videos, you know that the focus of this series is not to talk about the how to use EdTech tools that exist, but to focus on the why we use them, to make sure that the tools we are selecting to use align with our goals for learning for our students. So today, I wanna to talk about Edpuzzle. So give me a moment to share my screen with you and show you some notes. All right, so if you don't know what Edpuzzle is, let me briefly explain that Edpuzzle is a free to use platform that allows you to take um, content videos that already exist, whether they're on YouTube or Vimeo or National Geographic or Khan Academy, wherever, you take that video, you put it into Edpuzzle and it allows you to personalize it in many ways. It allows you to edit out chunks of the video you don't need. It allows you to record your own voice over. It allows you to embed your own notes. But most importantly, it allows you to insert check for understanding questions throughout the video to track students' understanding and progress. So obviously, this is a great tool to use because you can curate good content and personalize it. No need to reinvent the wheel and make your own videos all the time because that takes a lot of time, time that we don't have. And as I said, it's that built-in check for understanding while students are watching the video. So rather than just having them be uh, passive consumers of video content, it makes them active participants and you actually collect the data of their responses to questions so you can see who didn't understand certain parts of what they were supposed to be learning versus who did. And you can then clarify any misconceptions they might have had. Um, one of my favorite reasons to use Edpuzzle is it's seamless sync with Google Classroom, which if you don't already know how much I love Google Classroom, please check the first video from this series. Um, but also, this is great for remote instruction, small groups in the classroom, or even whole class. Obviously, for remote instruction, it's very easy to find good content videos, personalize them with your own notes and questions, and send them out to your students, and then collect that feedback. In class, this is a great activity for a small group um, station, or you could use Edpuzzle when you're showing a video to the whole class, but simply pause and remember to ask those questions so that you keep the students on track as you're watching it together. I'd like to show you some interesting information from Edpuzzle's website. So when you go to Edpuzzle, and you're reading about what it is, it talks about why we should be using videos in education. And I just wanna read for you what it says here. More than 65% of students are visual learners and over 95% of your students watch YouTube regularly. Videos are a powerful resource, but it can be difficult to hold students accountable for something you can't track. That's why we created Edpuzzle. We were once teachers with this same problem. I just think that's an excellent thing to talk about the fact that we have students today who live in a highly instantaneous visual world. They're used to being on screens, they're used to getting their contact, content through video and through audio all the time, instant gratification. And the more we can tap into that for educational purposes, the better. So hopefully you also noticed that I have some links that are gonna be in the description below for the video. Um, the first one is a link for how to set up Edpuzzle when you have Google Classroom. And then the second one shows how to create an Edpuzzle class if you don't have Google Classroom. So please check out those tutorial videos if you haven't set up Edpuzzle yet. And please give it a try because it's a great resource and it's a really great time saver. And it definitely makes sure that your students remain accountable for the viewing and for the answering of questions to make sure that they viewed and understood the content that you sent them in video form. All right, thank you so much. I hope you all are staying safe, staying healthy, and check out more videos coming up in this series soon. Bye.